All right. Glitter Gulch Mine. So I'm gonna go and enter that gate that we can open by hitting the switch. And what we need to do is we need to use these turbo trainers. The super fast shoes from Banjo because we want. So we're gonna press this switch. It's gonna open the gate and what you can do in the, uh, the turbo trainers can actually help you run on water in this one, just like Jesus. That's a nice little addition from the, uh, over the last game. So we can just run across the surface of this water. Take a nice little shortcut here. Super Cowboy's gonna hit us. And we can get there with time to spare. Alright. This will take us to the top of the waterfall cavern. We are going to press B to remove the shoes. And now what we need to do is we need to jump from the top of here to where the Jiggy is. Which is not easy because the camera doesn't want to work with us. Thankfully, if we could just jump in the pool here, we can instead go up here and grab the Jiggy. 15, alright. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to jump hover onto this platform over here. Beautiful. Just like that. And I believe this takes us to... Yep. The Flooded Caves. Alright. Well, so this is a series of underwater catacombs, which are kind of tricky to navigate. So we're coming in through here. And yes, you are at risk of drowning here. So... Try to be good. And a lot of these caverns we swim to, we can't actually swim to the top. So unless I'm mistaken, I believe this will take us to where we blew up the entrance with the detonator near the crushing shed. Yes indeed, this is where the shack used to be that we blew up with the TNT barrel. Okay. So let's see if I can remember, because there is a Jiggy hidden in these catacombs. From the start, from this room, we're going to swim up through this pipe. That's the only one. Next, we're going to go right. And now we're going to go left. Yes, that's the order. And that should take us to where, yep, this is where the Jiggy is. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Alright, we've gotten a lot more Jiggies in a short amount of time. Because some of them are just kind of lying out on this level. But you still have to navigate these nasty... <laughs> okay, uh, ignoring that Donkey Kong 64 glitch, we're gonna get back. Straight, right, left. So I'm just curious. Okay, we have five Jiggies here. One of them we can't get until we <laughs> learn the springy step shoe move in a future world. One of them we can't get unless we go back to the Mayhem Temple. One of them we can't get until we can go to the Power Hut basement, which we can't do. Uh, where are the other two? Oh, yeah. Okay, then I know where the last two are. Sweet. We're actually almost done with this level. I can't tell if it... I'm still trying to decide if I want to do, save like all of the backtracking for the end of the game, or if I want to kind of do it gradually. I think at least for this one I'll do it, if not this episode, the next episode. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to finally enlist the help of Mumbo. The last two Jiggies we need Mumbo's help to get. The last two Jiggies that we can actually get right now without leaving the world. Hey, Mumbo. Oh. Climb up. Oh. It's pretty cool that Mumbo built a bunch of skulls in all of the different worlds. Yo, oh, uh, Welcome again, Baron Bird. Uh, We've got a Globo. Uh, oh, Must uh, give magic creature uh, to Mumbo if want uh, help. Uh, want Mumbo's help. You betcha. You bet, kid! Sure, we need all the help we can get! Throw it in Mumbo's bag! Ah. 
All right, we play as Mumbo. We only uh, we have two pads to access this time, as opposed to the one we had in the Mayahem Temple. So the first one, and conveniently, both of which are right next to warp pads. The first one is outside the crushing shed. We have this boulder here. And this mumbo pad is green. Unlike the purple one in the last level, so what, what will this do? Hope this works. Levitate the Jiggy Boulder. So Mumbo's power in World 2 is the Levitate spell. He can use that to make things govern, which is going to be useful. So we can use this ability to Levitate this Jiggy Boulder and throw it through the roof of the Jiggy Crushing, crushing Shed. Because we have turned the Shed on by going in with Banjo and Kazooie, it should land right on top of the conveyor belt and then it'll take it to the end to get grinded up. Unfortunately, this might mean that the jiggy gets in the boulder and gets grinded up with it. Oh, wait. Uh, I take it back, Mumbo. Bring it back. Too late. Eka, boka, eka, boka, bow it up, bow it up. Eka, boka, eka, boka, eka, boka, eka, up. Rest in peace, Jiggy Boulder. <laughs> well, goodbye, Jiggy and the Jiggy Boulder. <laughs> so then the, the the chimney spits out all the rock pieces. That seems like a bad design, but okay. So now it'll drop three different Jiggy Chunks. Which we can pick up with Mumbo, I believe. <laughs> That's Mumbo's attack. It's impractical, but it's fun to use. And here's the last one. Mumbo gets a Jiggy all to himself. <laughs> nice one, Mumbo. You actually got a Jiggy for yourself. Oh, let's go to Wumpa's Wigwam. Why is this one marked as yellow? Mumbo isn't welcome in Wumpa's Wigwam. Oh, really? Oh, a sordid history, eh? All right, let's go to Creepy Guy's train station. That creepy guy actually looks like he could be a character on Thomas, by the way. Thomas the Tank Engine, despite being a children's television show, it had some creepy moments. Like, anyone else remember the episode where the train got, like, sealed in the tunnel with bricks for always and always and always? That one was weird, man. Alright. Hope this works. Thankfully, one global works for both of these. Levitate Chuffy the Train. <laughs> Chuffy is the rejected Thomas character. <laughs> So Topham Hatt wanted the trains to help build a, a new harbor, so we enlisted the help of Thomas, Gordon, Percy, and Chuffy. <laughs> I don't want to work on the harbor, said Chuffy. <laughs> Rubbish, said Sir Topham Hatt. <laughs> or the fact controller, depending on which version of the show you're watching. There we go! The train is up and running. Can Mumbo enter the train? Nope. Mumbo is in, unable to climb ladders. He is, he is too stupid to climb ladders. Okay, well, that's all we needed. We lifted up the train, and now we can visit there as Banjo and Kazooie. Yeehaw! 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 The hit detection on the... Um, on the warp pads can sometimes be a little off, admittedly. Anyhow. Mumbo Jumbo, go back to his skull. <laughs> Again, I wish that Mumbo had more uses beyond just dancing on his various pads, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. He always sounds so disappointed when we go back to being Banjo and Kazooie, but I mean, like, come on, Mumbo. Like, they're the obvious choice. It's Banjo Tooie, not Mumbo Jumbo saves the world. Although that could be a good good follow-up game. Uh. Alright, let's go back to the train station. Now that Thomas' best friend Chuffy is up and running. It is the train station. Let's see what's up. Well, apparently Mumbo like lifted the train up and now it actually is like back to life and is like up and running again. Like it's Literally, it's moving its engine. Give me health. 
please and thank you. Alright. So there are two parts to this, uh, train. We've got... Stupid shovel? Get, get out of here. This is not Handy Manny. So first up, we have... What is this? Inside Chuffy's Wagon. We got steel kegs from Donkey Kong Country and wooden barrels from Donkey Kong Country. If a wooden barrel exists, it's from Donkey Kong Country. Anyhow, Banjo is smart enough to climb up the ladder and up in here. Here we have Chuffy's Cab. Alright, we got some health here. Some nice windows. There is the uh, place where the coal is burned. This is my train control pad. Okay, who are you, bro? You'll have to battle me before you go anywhere. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like it came from inside that boiler. Um, that boiler is very clearly on fire right now. But believe it or not, you can actually walk in. And you apparently have to. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner inside Chuffy's boiler. Maybe it's a jiggy. Old King Cole, grubby boiler monarch. <laughs> He's creepy, dude. <laughs> Who dares enter Old King Cole's boiler? <clears throat> I'm Banjo, and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. <laughs> you would, huh? In that case, I'll fight you for it. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. Er, not me, pal, but you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny heads. So this is the boss of Glitter Gulch Mine, Old King Cole. <laughs> and he's gonna run around and try to trample us. Er, let's see how you cope with a little heat. So yeah, we are literally in the boiler on fire, and now he's gonna turn up the heat and make uh, drain our air meter. Thankfully it won't happen for long. We can actually rat a tat rap him over and over again, and that deals a good amount of damage to him. When he does that, make sure you jump on the steel platform to avoid uh, one of these big steel platforms to avoid all the burning coal. It won't last too long. Take that. Ah, no great loss. I've still got another. So this is also a time-based battle, as you can see that timer at the bottom counting down. Uh-oh. So we only have 100 seconds left to beat him. Now, the easiest way to beat him, and it, this boss is ridiculously easy, you can literally just snipe him with eggs from a distance. Now, fire eggs actually don't do anything to him, because apparently he likes burning. But regular eggs will, so we're just gonna pelt him from a distance with regular eggs, and problem solved. Ah, but I don't need arms to beat you! So as you beat him up, parts of his body will break off more and more, making him a little harder to hit, and he gets a little faster. But he's still super easy. Easiest boss in the game, without a doubt. Uh, uh, perhaps we should sit down and talk about this? <laughs> Mad respect to old King Cole, though, for still continuing to fight us even after his head gets blown off. Like, come on, you gotta give it up to the guy. Alright. We'll rat a tat rap him, dude. Not finish. Actually, no, Wonder Wing. Never mind, not Wonder Wing! Youch! Take that. Okay, uh, perhaps I'll let you use my train after all. But don't you dare hit anything! I've only just polished! <laughs> and then he blows up into a jiggy. <laughs> And then the door opens for us. I still can't believe we walked into a boiler that was lit on fire, defeated a sentient pile of coal, and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> and that's the last Jiggy we can get in Glitter Gulch Mine for now. Also, fun fact, other than the final boss, Old King Cole is the only boss in the entire game that you actually have to beat in order to complete the game. You cannot complete the game without beating Old King Cole. More on that in a future episode, but... Oh my gosh, I love that. I... Even though that fight is laughably easy, you literally just find one of these big platforms of steel, sit on it, and spit eggs at him from a distance. And also, if you 
it's not even sequence breaking. I easily, as soon as you learn fire eggs, you can go to the next part of the Iowa hacks and learn the new egg type there, which is super broken. If you learn that, the fight gets even more laughably easy because those eggs will deal like five damage to him per egg or three or five, and you can just kill him super easily. But I really like old King Cole. He's a funny character, and he actually comes back because now that we've beaten him, we gain the ability to use Chuffy the train. And this is one of the cool parts of the game. I mentioned the interconnectivity of the worlds. Chuffy the Train is the biggest interconnection between them. Most worlds in the game will have a train station, and you can use Chuffy to travel between them. You will need to find the train switch in each world in order to open the train station, and not every world has it, but most of the worlds do. So that's pretty cool, and Chuffy actually does have some practical aspects that you'll need in order to solve various puzzles in the game. So here we go. Now if we go on to the go button... There's no train stations open for my train to go to. So Old King Cole is still, like, here in spirit, and will talk to us when we're using the train, which is kind of funny. <laughs> he is... Old King Cole is such an entertaining character, I've got to say. <laughs> he has some great one-liners. Pretty much all of his lines are puns. Like, where he's like, oh, I've still got another arm, it's like, I don't need arms to beat you, and then, like, he's literally nothing but, like, legs in his body. He's like, maybe we should sit down and talk about this. And the fact that he's going to crush us with the merry old soul of his foot. It's its so fantastic. The bosses in this game are just really, really good. <laughs> really fun. Again, he's definitely the easiest boss in the game. Most of the bosses in this game are either, like, really easy or really hard. There are a couple of middle-of-the-road ones, though. I feel like Target Zan is kind of challenging, but not super hard when compared to the other bosses. And then Old King Cole and Klungo, and then another boss are, like, super easy. Anyhow. I think that's all we can do in Glitter Gulch Mine for now. Actually, wait, let me just check before. I'm still missing a Hollow Honeycomb piece somewhere. And we're missing a Jinjo. I know where the Jinjo is. We can't get that just yet. I, you know, I think that's okay. I, I... I bet you the Hollow Honeycomb piece is in a place that I could reach, but I just haven't yet. But that's okay. We'll be coming back to Glitter Gulch Mine later, so I'm fine leaving it for now. Anyhow, that was World 2. I really like Glitter Gulch Mine. Again, I've said it before, I love every world in this game. But Glitter Gulch Mine is an underground level done right. It can be a little confusing, but for the most part, there are markings all over the mine to let you know which place you're about to enter. And the warp pads really do help. And they're not too hard to find. So, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. A couple things are going to happen. Now that we have five Cheeto pages, we're going to go back to Spiral Mountain and get a new, uh, uh, brand new cheat from him. We are also going to, uh... <laughs> We now have the ability to save Banjo's pet goldfish from under the boulder. And we might be going back to Lionhem Temple to help out uh, Dilberta and bring her back to Bully and Bill. So, look forward to that. And then after that, we will enter the best world in the entire game, World Free. It's incredibly fantastic, and like I've said, one of my all-time favorite worlds in any video game. So, that's going to be an awesome episode. Make sure you tune in for that. Oh, one thing I guess I should do first... There's a boulder here. And we get ourselves another black Jinjo. That was the Jinjo that was calling for help. Anyhow, that's truly it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. It's going to be some fun, exciting times, and I really hope you join in for them. It's going to be a ton of fun. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.